Street Wise magazine is celebrating 30 years, making it the longest running street publication in the nation. Yeah, they seek to elevate marginalized voices and support the lives of the homeless. Joining us now with more is founder Judd Lofshea and Danny Davis. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start with you, Judd. When you started this, what, what was the purpose and what was the goal? You know, the purpose was to create an instant job for someone who's homeless mm -hmm. and you know, the mission has always been to help them become self-sufficient, you know, teach them how to fish instead of give them a fish. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been pretty successful. We've had 13,000 homeless people come through the door, instant job. Northwestern University did a study and said 40% of them get a job or a place to live as a result of selling Streetwise. Wow. Oh my. Yeah. Danny, how long ago did you start selling? Well, I started selling Streetwise about 1993, so I think I've been there approximately uh, 23, 24 years, mm -hmm. and um, this was not only my first job, this was actually my second job, because I was working another job and was working this for my part-time, and it does work. Trust work. me, if, if yeah. you put your foot into it, it does work. What it do you wish work. people knew about it on the street when you're trying to sell? Because I, I see you guys all the time, and people walk by. What would you? What do you want the public to know that they don't know when you guys are out there selling? Oh, well, me, myself, I would like the public to know, when you see a, a streetwise vendor come approaching you, uh, always make sure that you see a streetwise badge. Mm. This is the main thing right here. This is the main thing because we have a lot of people out there that's giving us a black eye. Uh, we don't turn no one around. No one. No one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, if they look for the badge, at least you know that your money's going to the right place, not the wrong mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. It's not so much about buying the buying the magazine. It's about knowing what you what you're getting, and knowing that it's going to the right place. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, and that gives us a black eye. So we know that the, the magazine, the way it works, is the uh, vendor buys the magazine for a set price and sells it at a different price, and then mm -hmm. the profit goes towards Correct. The, the, the vendor. Where did the, the money that they, that they buy from you, how was that used? So we have a staff of six or seven people. We have an executive director. We have um, supportive services. We have two um, licensed clinical like counselors. Mm -hmm. We have a jobs program to help them get a job. Um, we have someone who lays out the paper, you know, advertising, sure. marketing. So we have a small staff. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do with the money. And we pay rent. Oh, and so people who have not picked up the publication, what's inside for people buying it from these vendors? Yeah. So no, I, got, I, go go I can answer for him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got a small uh, word crawl puzzle. Word crawl puzzle. Uh, we got a small sporting event in there. Uh, we got um, uh, concerts, and events, and stuff. You know, knowing what's going on in out the city. Uh, uh, we got a more or less like a, you would say um, events is going like concerts, baseball games, and stuff like that, and mostly the news that's around Chicago that's going yeah. around, and all, all, also over other cities and stuff, too. Some so, award-winning articles have come mm -hmm. out of we've Streetwise. Been, we've had a longtime editor, Suzanne Haney, who's won a lot of awards, and it is, like Danny said, it's a general paper, it's not boring, but with a social bent. Yes. All right. Simple guy. Yeah. Okay. So with the uh, advent of these little computers, you know, right. a lot of people <laughs> now are more so getting their information off of these tablets. And so, how has that impacted Streetwise? You know, it's hard. The whole newspaper magazine industry is way down, and COVID really hurt because you know we survive based on rush hour, right? Morning, mm -hmm. afternoon, lunch, and there's so many fewer people in the loop. So it's made it harder. But you know, Chicago's a great town, and I think people just really support what we're doing and. And hopefully we've changed the face of homelessness that these mm. people really want to work. When I started, we had 300 people sign up the first wow. week. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. And how many people do you guys have at any given moment? Is it still the higher numbers like that? So right now we have about 100 active vendors. Okay. In the Haiti, we had 185, 200. So, but it's a lot, you know, it's, it's a six day a week operation. We provide breakfast, lunch, meals, clothing, Toiletries, all kinds of stuff. So it's it's a real nonprofit, you know, under the YWCA. Mm -hmm. So it's. Danny, what would you want people out there to know about what it's like to be homeless in Chicago that they don't know that they need to be aware of so that they can step up and help the situation? Uh, what, I, what I would like to everyone to know is is that Streetwise is. Uh, we try to, we myself, I try to keep that word homeless out of, okay. out of our mouths, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yep. Because we are working, it's a job, yes. okay? And it is a job. Uh, it's a hand up, not a handout. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as far as being homeless, it's not fun to be homeless. Girl, no. Okay, we don't want anyone riding the trains and stuff, none of the sort of. But if you come work for Streetwise, at least you can earn money to get yourself off the, mm -hmm. off the streets, get a hotel room, mm -hmm. or save your money to get your apartment. It's, you know, it's, so like I said, the main thing, my, myself and anyone else, I try to say we're not homeless. You know, you, you, you know, I try to let them know, don't say that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're working. It's the job. Yeah. To me. I'd like to add that it's hard when you're homeless, no matter what reason you're to get out, it's hard. Yeah. You have to save rent, security deposit, utility deposit. Sometimes they have an eviction. And you know, one of the biggest things is a felony. It could be 10, 20 years ago, but a lot of landlords won't take people. And with the housing market so tight, it's even harder now. And it's so expensive to get a one bedroom in Chicago or a studio. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. And, and you guys are working hard. Wise is helping to hopefully stem the tide on that. Hopefully. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for both coming in. Thank and you. congratulations on 30 years. Yes. Thank you. Big for... event September 30th at the Gallery Marchetta. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Here's the information on how you can get more information about Streetwise social media handles as well as the website. Thank you, gentlemen.